Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make this text effect in Adobe Photoshop. Now I'm on the beta, but you can use the regular version. There's no different for no difference for this effect. We'll start off with having our text layer. Um, next we're gonna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Click on convert to smart object. And uh, depending on your file size and your artboard size, um, you're going to decide the value you're going to input here, but it should look something like this. I'm going to go with five pixels for now. Then go back to filter and blur, motion blur, and we're going to go with a 90 degree angle just to make it move a little bit. So probably go like 20 or 30 with the distance. Next, I'll go back to filter. This time we're going to go not to blur, but to blur gallery, and we're going to add an iris blur. This will give it that like shaky effect. So we're going to pull these in. And I want my angles to be rounded. So that's what this little square is for. And then this is to spin and rotate and then I'll add more blur and you see that's the effect you get then press OK when you're happy with it I feel like this looks really cool so pressed OK we're now gonna command J on a Mac control J on a PC to duplicate the layer otherwise you can just click and drag it onto the plus sign over here and that will duplicate your layer as well and this time we're gonna go to filter filter gallery we're going to be adding a halftone pattern and you'll find that under the sketch folder halftone pattern I like the size to be small so maybe go with one or two but these all all these settings depend on your artboard size so definitely play around with those and what your preference I'm gonna go with uh, two size and ten contrast pattern type is line and press OK I'll then change the blending mode to something like screen or lighten, whichever of the two you prefer. And then next we're going to go to the adjustments tab and click on gradient map. Click here and I'm going to go with a blue, pretty dark blue, to white. Press OK. We're now going to reverse it because I want my text to be blue and my background to be white. I'll brighten this blue up a little bit. You can also add more colors here in the middle. That's depending on you. I'm going to go with this light blue. And you get this crazy cool like scanned line effect. The last thing I usually do is just grab a texture. I'll leave my texture packs and gradient map packs linked in the description below if you want to take a look at those. There's also some free ones in there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.